welcome back to another day of 31 Days of Horror. I'm your host, Stephen Bloodworth, filmmaker and indie film critic. Thank you so much for coming by. Roadside attractions, or tourist traps as they're commonly known as, are staples in long road trips and family vacations. Tourist Trap from 1979 features one said attraction that you would never want to attend. The film was directed by David Schmoller and produced by Charles Band of Full Moon Features. A group of friends are traveling through the desert and unfortunately their car gets a flat. One of their friends, Woody, goes to a gas station to try and get help, but ends up getting killed by a bunch of mannequins. Here's a little fun fact for you. You ever see Elf with Will Ferrell? You know the Jack in the Box? Well, I'm pretty sure that the laugh that that Jack in the Box made was probably inspired by Taurus Trap. <laughs> And I don't mean that the mannequins just get up and kill the man, I mean that objects in the room just start flying at this guy until he's impaled by a pipe. The group of friends go looking for Woody and they come across a gas station convinced that he must be somewhere there. They decide to go skinny dipping in a place near the gas station and that's where they come across the notorious Mr. Slauson. Mr. Slauson agrees to help the kids with the jeep, but insists that they come back to his place. His house, aka the tourist trap, looks like the resting place for all of the reject props from Chuck E. Cheese and Pee Wee's Playhouse. One by one, the friends decide to leave the house against Mr. Slauson's orders, and it's no surprise, they all get picked off one by one. Each one of them gets picked off by a character dressed as one of the mannequins, even wearing a wax mask. To be honest, the guy's mask and hair, he kinda looks like Leatherface in Texas Chainsaw The Next Generation without the makeup. This guy basically wants to kill everyone and turn them all into mannequins. And not for anything, his voice and dialogue is just downright creepy. The whole film has this haunting atmosphere where you constantly feel that people are watching you, and you can't help but ask, maybe they're mannequins, maybe they're not. I'm not going to give away the ending, but I must say, it's pretty predictable. Over the years, Taurus Trap has gained a massive cult following, and Mr. Slauson is loved by fans alike. Taurus Trap is one of those films not to take seriously. If you're looking for some good laughs and some cheap thrills, then I highly recommend it. So that does it for the 70s horror films, but don't worry, the 1980s just gets better and 31 Days of Horror continues.